What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today we are on the road taking on the 2-3 Florida International Panthers. We're 2-3 on the season. We have a, I wouldn't even call it a winning streak, but we won our last game. Uh, it was our good game against Western Kentucky. We dominated pretty easily. 41-13 was the final score. If you guys didn't see that game, definitely check it out. There's a playlist in the description. And uh, you see Kirk Herbstreak's not really going to give us any uh, favors here. Is he's not going to pick us to win. But it doesn't really matter what he thinks, really. Um, we're just looking out here to try to get a win. Um, play our style of play. And, um, you know, Jason Johnson has been looking really good so far this season. And uh, as you take a look at the top 10, A&M, Louisville, Oklahoma, Alabama, Texas, Michigan, Ohio State, Nebraska, Oregon, and Washington round out the top 10. We're only going to look at the top 10. Uh, we're not really concerned about everything else because we're way far away from being anywhere close to the top 25 material. So, um, you take a look at the conference standings. Obviously, uh, we're a half game behind Florida Atlantic, but we don't even play them this season, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, we just got to keep winning games. Um, then we'll work our way up to maybe getting second or third in the, in the Conference USA. Right now, overall, we're sixth. Uh, you see our points scored and points allowed are not too far apart. Uh, if we come out with a win, even by a touchdown, we'll still be underneath that positive ratio of points scored and points allowed. But conference standings, we're looking pretty good so far. We're going to do some recruiting here. as you We're going to talk about some of our uh, key players so far. Obviously, our defense is a big problem. And um, I don't think it's really going to get much better unless we start doing some heavy recruiting on the defensive side of the ball. Offensively, our run game is pretty much non-existent passing uh, I don't think we'll have any problems <laughs> we have the number one passing attack in the country and it's mainly because of Jason Johnson um, he's one of the best well he has the one of the best stats in college football best stat line in college football doesn't mean he's actually the best quarterback in college football but he does have the best stat line in college football as far as quarterbacks go but when you throw 50 times a game and you can't really run the ball because your running game is pretty much non-existent you're only getting like you're lucky to average three and a half yards of carry you kind of just you know have to pass and yeah we've been losing a lot of these games so we're technically we're sometimes we're forced to pass the ball because we we are we're in a pass only mode because we're losing by so much so it, it kind of just it's a it's a put a little asterisk on there on that stat uh, because right now at, at two and three you know all these losses that we've had two of them are really close losses I will say um, but that one loss against LSU man that that was awful it still haunts me to this day it still haunts me the loss against um, Washington State though well, that was another story Jason Johnson came to play that game. And uh, we looked very well. We looked really good. And same against Louisiana Tech. We we lost by only a touchdown in both. Well, we lost by 15 to uh, Louisiana Tech. But we only lost by 7 to Washington State. So it wasn't like, um, you know, we couldn't put up numbers. Um, we obviously did on the passing side, on the through the air. Just running the ball, we just never got anything going. And a lot of these times we're playing from behind and we're forced to pass. So... Uh, I don't want to say we're I don't want to be too conservative when we're you know down by multiple scores so I don't really want to <laughs> force the issue but I kind of have to at that point when I'm down by you know multiple scores you know the games are only so long you know um, but we're probably we're getting closer and closer to uh, wrapping some of these guys up for getting some recruits um, they're not looking too bad either we're looking like we could get some solid recruits out of this um, they might even start year one maybe um i'm not looking forward to uh losing J uh, jason johnson at the end of the year for justin cutler i mean not, not to say that justin cutler's terrible but man jason johnson has the hot hand you know you gotta give the ball to the guy who has the hot hand and obviously we know J uh, justin cutler is off of injury but we're gonna start jason johnson because he is he's on fire ladies and gentlemen he's on fire on fire like too hot hot damn um so yeah we just we got some receivers now we're looking forward to getting some receivers some tall receivers some speedy receivers as well uh we're really gonna look heavily on defense but we haven't really found many good defensive gems out there 
that's the scary thing we haven't found many of them that are good and man we just hope our defense is uh willing to just get better as the years pass because right now the recruits aren't looking too good we might have some of these athletes play defense which would be awesome um but as of right now we don't know what they're gonna play uh, if we even get them in the first place who knows even if he's just a juco i mean yeah i hate taking juco's but <laughs> uh, we only get him for two years tops but i mean i, I got i gotta win now i want to get, get this program to at least win some games well, otherwise we're just gonna you know fall flat on our face and uh, that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed the pregame. And uh, make sure you drop a like and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the game. Peace. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Golden Panthers haven't only flirted with disaster, they courted disaster, they romanced disaster, they've married disaster, they've become one with disaster. So finally, now at rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and they finally go up. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. And welcome to FIU Stadium here. Um, we're going to take on the Florida International Panthers who are two and three. We are two and three as well, like I said in the pregame, and uh, we're looking to at least push it up to 500. If we fall to two and four, we are in some big trouble as far as uh, bowl status goes. Because right now, we if we even clinch a bowl, I'll be happy. And Marquise Cunningham barely gets it out to he doesn't even get it to the 20. He's I might just kick him off kickoff returns because he's not really that good. But Jason Johnson, here he comes. He is the man of the hour. He is, the, he's like that guy. He's our guy. And he gets it off to Darrell Irvin for the first, uh, first down, 14-yard pickup. That's the way we got to start it off. But later on, it's third down and three. And we're trying to look for that completion to get that first down. But he almost throws it to the defender right there. Threw it to like, he wasn't even close with that pass. He threw it like a mile off. And we're forced to punt the football. So this is not good either because... Florida International, man, they love running no huddle, and that has been my biggest weakness all season long. Now, put this together. Well, except for the LSU game, um, teams that run ha uh, that run a no huddle, we have tended to struggle against. Teams that run no huddle, we've tended to suck, and we can't really keep up. Our, our defense gets tired way too easily, and we can't tackle anybody that's our biggest problem and we leave defenders wide open like that so they get picked up 16 on that play but as if a team that runs like you know pro styles you know teams that don't you know usually um run the no huddle like um oh my goodness western kentucky for example or even iowa state even though they do run a no huddle uh they didn't really get a chance to get their offense going like that so they i guess you can consider that uh being a no uh, use of no huddle right there so that's always a good thing too if we can't get their their offense can't get going I mean that's always good for us um, but those are the only two instances and we won both those games too that's a, that's the irony we can't just let their offense get going uh, yeah we gave up only 13 to Western Kentucky and 7 to Iowa State um, but there's still plenty of teams like out there that um, don't run the, uh, don't run a no huddle offense but right now we just got to focus on Florida International because they do run a no huddle offense and that's not good that's not good at all so they're gonna go over the middle here to Brown and Brown picks up a first down pick up of 10 yards and the offense is moving again as usual business as usual here for Jason Johnson this is only natural and this time he gets it off to Zach Jones and he gets it down inside the five down to the four later on it's second and goal from the four here's Jason Johnson looking has time, gets it off to Lee Williams in the back of the end zone for the touchdown, and guess what? 
Jason Johnson has another touchdown pass. One of probably many more to come in this game because our offense is flowing. Like it's like juice flowing in your veins, man. It's just it's just you have that adrenaline going. That's what Jason Johnson feels like every game. He feels like he's turning into a Super Saiyan out there. And now it's second and ten. Here's Taylor with the handoff to Vaughn. And Vaughn has room to run, and he has way more room than I thought, you know, originally anticipated. We cannot give up these kind of runs. And our defense is so easily, like, shoved to the ground. Like, we get, we try to get back up, but then we just get, like, you know, we get poked to the ground. Like, they don't even make much effort to kick us down because it really doesn't take much effort to beat our defense. It really, really doesn't. Our defense is just atrocious. And now... With a first and goal here with just one second left here in the quarter. They're going to try and get this playoff. And they got a single back formation. Here they go. Taylor looks. Has time. Touchdown to Robert Jack. Nine yards out. And it's now 14-7 Florida International. And now third down and four. Here's Jason Johnson looking over the middle. Oh, Zach Warren gets decked. And so did Jason Johnson. But they both get back up just fine. Luckily. But unfortunately... We have to get the football back up. So third down to six here for Florida International. Here is Taylor looking over to Keys. And Keys inside the five-yard line down to the four. And that is not good. Defense is just looking atrocious today. What can we do? We try everything. We send blitz. We play zone. We play man coverage. And yet we cannot stop them. It's another touchdown for Florida International. It's second down and six here. It's 21-7. Johnson over the middle to Darrell Urban, down to the 35-yard line. And Darrell Urban looking really good today. Um, but obviously the team still has a lot of work to do. Third down and four here. Here's Jason Johnson again. Looks over the middle, caught by Lee Williams, down to past midfield, pick up of 13 yards, down to about the 46-yard line. Later on to second and 13. Here is Jason Johnson looking again. He gets it off to Darrell Urban, picks up that first down. Another gain of 14 on that play. Terrell Irvin, six catches, 75 yards on the day in the first half. Looking really sharp. Second and 12 here, a minute 44 left. Here's Jason Johnson once again drops back. Over the middle, Matt Weiss, and he gets it down to the 25-yard line. And now later on, it's uh, down to the 20-yard line, actually. Now we're in the red zone. So now, oh, O'Donnell comes up with the pick. And what are we doing? We're just messing up all over the place. We don't even get a chance to go into halftime with a seven-point deficit. We got to go down by 20 or 21-7. So now off to Reed gets another first down for Florida International. And Jesus, this defense has more holes than a freaking, you know, Hurricane Katrina during, you know, like all those fl the floods during Hurricane Katrina. Just a bunch of holes in the dam. It just leaks everywhere. And now it just turns into one disaster leads to another. And just everything just collapses. For this defense it is awful it is just awful here's taylor again looking over the middle to vaughn and devon inside the 15 yard line for a pickup of 12 and this defense like if you saw the beginning if you noticed that um florida international had one of the worst passing attacks in the country and now we're making them look like it's freaking washington state out there just or even us we have the number one passing attack in the country but oh my goodness look at ryan marshall Ryan Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. He's gone. Touchdown, UAB, 85 yards. And it's now 28-14. And now Florida International gets the ball back on third down and 10. And Taylor looks over to the left side. It's Keith, and we make a stop on third down. Look at that. Look at that. We get the ball back. Look, can we take, can we just take advantage, please? 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 Third down and uh, first and ten over the middle of Allen and uh-oh. 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 We uh uh oh. <laughs> it looked like he wasn't gonna be taken down there very easily for a second there. But now second down and four here. I hate it when that game does that. They're like squiggling down like worms. And it's just like blah. But we get another first down right here. Look at our pass to rush running ratio. Obviously, We've been passing the ball like mad. Ryan Marshall again deep over the middle for a pickup of 28. And now it's first and goal later on next play. Can we get this touchdown? Johnson over the middle. Zach Warren touched down. UAB, it's within seven. We were down by 21, but now it's a seven-point game. 
on the road. Can we make a comeback? Who knows? Who knows? We just got to keep playing the game. But here, Taylor hands off to Vaughn, and uh-oh. Well, that just happened. 65-yard uh, touchdown to <laughs> Brennan Vaughn, and now it's 35-21. So now we just got a bigger hill to climb. As you see, they're just going to fire the cannon. The Florida International ROTC group is going to fire off the cannons. So now here's Jason Johnson. His offense is back on the field. His lethal offense off to Zach Weiss. Pickup of 19 yards and another UAB first down. Four catches, 51 yards for the man. Third down and six. Here's Johnson again looking left side, or right side off to Ryan Marshall. Gets shoved out of bounds. Pickup of 13 and another first. Why are we so efficient on offense but so shitty on defense? It is blasphemy. So run. Here's a run play. Oh, oh my goodness. We ran the ball. Pick up of eight yards. <laughs> we ran the ball. Are you kidding me? We actually picked up something good on that play. That was like a six-yard pickup right there. Not bad. We actually run the ball here. So another third down situation. We pick up another first down. This time it's through the ground. Ran two plays in a row. Look at that. Not even bad. First and ten here. Johnson. Looking off to Zach Warren down inside the 10. Pickup of 17. Can we get in the end zone and make this a one score game once again? Fourth quarter just beginning. Still 35 21. Here's Johnson over the middle. Warren. Warren in the end zone. Touchdown, UAB once again. Jason Johnson has four touchdown passes again. He's killing it out there. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to win a Heisman, but I mean. He could definitely win conference player of the year. I'm just saying. Like, he could be conference player of the year. Could. With the stats he's putting up, I wouldn't see why not. But here we go again. The defense is looking like ass. Touchdown, Florida International. 42-28. And we got another hill to climb. Down by two scores. Five minutes to go in the game. This is what you call an uphill battle. Up to Ryan Marshall. Pick up of 10. First down. UAB Blazers as you see Ryan Marshall well over 100 yards receiving on just four receptions too not even bad my man but off to Matt Weiss and he gets his level but he still holds on to the ball picks up the first down six catches 69 yards and now you see um, UAB going up to the line Johnson over the middle to Weiss again ran the same play they still can't stop it so if it ain't broke don't fix it so we're just gonna keep going with it sound good so first and ten again same play and they still can't stop it. So Matt Weiss is just going to be the man of the drive. Pick up of 23 on that one. And now it's first and 10. We're in the red zone. One, eight catches, 108 yards. So running a, that same play that they can't stop it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, but wait. They can't. They did try and stop it. But let's see if we can get it. Oh, nope. Not that play. Not that play. But there's a flag. Ooh, naughty, naughty. Pass interference on the defense. No, no, no. That's going straight to the two-yard line, my friend. Straight to the two. First down, UAB. So, first and goal at the two. Here we go. Johnson scrambling for his life. Throws it off. Tony Jackson in the end zone for his first catch and touchdown of the year. And it's now 35-42, to 42, Florida International. But second down and 12. Look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull it off? Can the defense make a stop? Yes, they can. Interception. Here's Barnett, and he's gone. Touchdown, UAB, and the comeback is on. 42 all. Can we mount the comeback? Can we take the lead? Can we take the lead? Who knows? But here's off to Montgomery, and the defense is just getting back to its normal ways of being crappy. And now it's a first and 10 for Florida International. Unfortunately... We just got to keep going. We got to keep making stops. Third down and 13. We have a chance here to make that stop. Taylor drops back. Looks all deep over the middle, but it's caught by Jackson. He was wide open. Oh, but he fumbles. What is this? Smith picks it up, and we have the ball. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Looks like the elbow forced that fumble out of the, on the ground. The elbow hits the ground, and then the ball comes loose. So looks like they get to keep possession. That's just how the rules stated anyway. Um, unfortunately, I can't change the rules. Unfortunately. But, oh well. Come on, defense. We got this. You gotta just do it. Just do it. So first to 10. Here's Taylor looking for that screen pass. Gets it off to Vaughn. Vaughn has some room to run, and he's inside the five down to the two-yard line. And now it's a first and goal for Florida International. 
First and goal for Florida International. And here's Taylor. Has all the time in the world. Gets it off. Robert Jack, touchdown, Florida International. 49-42. But there's still plenty of time left. This game is far from over. Here's Johnson looking over the middle. Caught by Irvin. First down for UAB. Darrell Irvin playing a huge role today. Seven catches, 90 yards. Every, every receiver in this receiving core can just put up numbers anytime they want. Off to Lee Williams, picking up 24 on that one. And now it's second and 10 here with a minute 37 left. Johnson steps back. It's off to Jackson again. Tony Jackson picking up 19 on that play. And now we're going to the line once again, trying to get his touchdown and try and tie the game. Here is Zach Jones down inside of the five-yard line. And we're at first and goal spot with a minute 24 left. Here's Johnson. Oh, there's Weiss again. There's that man again. Touchdown, UAB. It's tied at 49. As you see, Jason Johnson, 526 passing yards. That's a, I think that's a school record. But there's still plenty of defense to be played here for UAB as we got to try and make a stop, but we're not doing so with that play. And Cole Jackson picks up 15. Florida International gets the first down. Here's Taylor again, steps back, looking deep left side, caught by Reed, and FIU gets inside the 20. So 50 seconds left in the game. This game looks like it could be over, right? Well, not necessarily. I mean, we give up the touchdown, yes, but there's still plenty of football left to be played. Um, not sure what to think about this situation. Obviously, I'm not happy about it, but there's still 43 seconds left. We still have all three timeouts. And we shouldn't have anything to be worried about, should we? I mean, we just set the school record for passing yards in a game with 541. As you see, first and 10 again. We're trying to hurry up to the line. And here is Johnson. Steps back, gets it off to Weiss, and gets that first down once again. 32 seconds left. The clock stops in college. So we get a chance to set up and get our offense going once again. Second and 10 here. Here is Johnson. Steps back. Looking. It's deep to Weiss. First down. 18-yard pickup right there. First and 10 again. 23 seconds left in the game. Here is Johnson looking. Looking again. Still has time. And he gets it off to Weiss down inside the 20. We have a chance to tie the game and force overtime. That's what I'm hoping. Here's Johnson again. Steps up. And it's picked off by Graves. And that is going to end the game. Jason Johnson just had a spectacular game until that throw cost him the game. So that really just is a kick in the teeth as we lose a tough one. We we could have forced overtime. I forced the, the, the hand right there. I really thought that Weiss could have gotten it. But unfortunately for our team, we come out with another loss. So we're 2-4 and four on the year. Uh, we take on UTEP next week, who is one of the best teams in the conference. But we're still going to try our best to come out with the win and hopefully not fall too far behind in the standings or at least give our bowl hopes up because we want to make that bowl game. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first-time viewer of myself, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And, hey, check out my Madden. Check out my MLB The Show. That will be coming out very soon. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out. Peace.